Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video of the day from Dating Right. Again, female pilot drives off the runway because of diversity. This is part two. <laughs> Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's Chow Time. Good afternoon, and thank you for the opportunity to testify on behalf of the Airline Pilots Association International. My name is Laura Hainer, and I'm a Minnesota resident and a Minneapolis-based pilot uh, for Delta Airlines. Miss Hainer, is that correct? Yes. So it's, can you tell me what a typical week, uh, work week looks like for you as a stewardess? How does... Uh, and, yeah. I'm a first officer for Delta. Uh, Pardon me? That was a little sexist. I'm a pilot for. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I, I don't our, know why I said that. I'm I'm so sorry. Um, our, and what he is remarking on is true. I would be terrified if I got onto a plane and I saw a woman uh, flying the plane. And I know that we have the United CEO saying that he just wants to fulfill a quota. He just wants there to be more women and wants there to be more black people. And he's not concerned at first with qualifications. That is something that should alarm all of us, guys, honestly. United Airlines is out with a plan pushing diversity for new pilots. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. You know that. I hope you do. The company wants to train 5,000 of them over the next decade and is promising at least half will be women or people of color. That's crazy for half to be women. I don't even think women want to be pilots. United would also be taking on applicants with no flying experience. Just there. That's the other part that's fucking crazy. How can you... It's like hiring a truck driver that drives a semi without any driving experience and doesn't even have the license. <laughs> Come on. And by sheer coincidence. The engine's sitting down on the ground, buddy. Thank you, man. I mean, I thought people would have learned, you know, when you take turns too quickly, you kind of tip over. <laughs> At least driving cars, you already know that. <laughs> Glad y'all are here with us. And then look at the back of the plane, man. I want I wonder if the passengers were able to sue for this event, you know, because this is like this is kind of negligence in a sense. There goes like a five million dollar, ten million dollar plane. Wow. 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 Guys, this is one reason why the US is losing right now with the west of the world yeah. a lot of decisions are being made are being made for women or to please women and look i'm all for diversity and hiring female pilots because there are a bunch of women that can operate these huge airbuses but it's don't true. just hire these women just for pr and marketing stunts now just leave, leave that power three. just go down to phase one phase two on the center line and then phase three remember look down towards the end of the runway just and fly just think okay i'm gonna fly level over the runway right about there just fly that's it fly level now phase three you're gonna crash the airplane you see that but look at the nose is gonna drop this is very Julie you see that boom you see what you're doing you yeah. see how the nose is crashing down you, you have to prevent that you you're the pilot don't let it crash into the runway you're gonna hold it in the air Check out this video of this lady here who felt so overwhelmed that she kept crying because she saw three female pilots. No! For a short approach, if you're going to do a power off 180, that's my point. Well, okay, I will remember that from now on, no problem. Yeah, when you ask for a short approach, I expect you to turn your base to beating the numbers. All right, this will be a full stop for 6-5 Charlie, and uh, maybe we need to talk about that some more because you're the first controller in 15 years that's ever said that. Well, I'm just, you know, I, I, if you ask for a short approach, a short approach is when you turn your base to beating the numbers. If I know you this is also part of why planes are almost crashing in mid-air. 
they're hiring tower controllers that don't know what the hell they're doing. Stop with this diversity hire, this, you know, minority slash gender hires. Get people that know how to do the job. People are flying in midair in big tubes that have 300 to 500 people in it. Shit shouldn't be going wrong. Not at such a rate nowadays that, again, multiple planes now have almost crashed in midair because the air traffic controller didn't know what the hell they were doing. You're a student asking for a short approach. I know you're out there practicing and you probably will extend. But if you're doing something other than a short approach, don't ask for a short approach. Well, I will definitely look up the definition of short approach because I've never seen where it says you turn base of beam the numbers because I don't see how you could possibly do that. Well, I Googled it, actually. I Googled short approach, and it said to turn your base a beam or before the numbers, and you will land probably touchdown around midfield. Wow. Okay, well, then uh, I apologize for requesting the wrong thing because uh, everywhere else, short approach means power off 180, but uh, that's definitely not what it means here. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've worked at different airports. I don't know. But just. All right, guys, y'all wow. may or may not have heard of this, but they got this new DEI program that's going on diversity, equity, and inclusive program for people who don't know. And it's just another way of just saying affirmative action hires or whatever. So here's the thing, because, you know, they, they they mostly pushing it toward females or whatever. But here's the thing. You don't hire people based on their gender or their race. And then they pushing it because they saying that it's racist. You know, it's too many white pilots that's getting, getting us from point A to point B. I've always I explained this before why there's so many white male pilots. These are the men that have the flight logs. They are, they're usually military men that have flown planes in the military and gotten those flight logs. The, the, the amount in the air with the airplane. It makes sense to hire these people instead of hiring brand new people that don't even know anything about aircrafts. That doesn't make sense. A reason why it's mostly white males is because most of the people that become pilots in the military are usually white males. Yes, there are other you know, female pilots and there's other minority pilots, but majority of them are white males. It's just what it is. So it's when you're picking from a pool where 90% of them are white males and there's a few minorities, you kind of have to pick a little bit more white males. I'm not saying it's a right thing or wrong thing. It's just how it is. You want the best candidates. You know, hire the best person for the job. Now, these people then just went from making something that's safe into a dangerous situation. Next 100%. I did, you know what? I'm sorry. I interrupted again. Air travel used to be one of the safest modes of transportation. That the, the, the rates of crash, the rates of incidents were almost slim to none. You were safer flying in an airplane than you will ever, ever be driving a car. And nowadays, you question... Am I going to be safe in this airplane? Next thing you know, we'll be having an epidemic of plane crashes going all over the place because you putting people in that's not even qualified to be a fucking pilot. We've had quite a few near misses. You know, and some of these higher ups, they not worried about it because they got their own private planes and they flying around so they don't have to worry that's about true. it. But they put it to the general population. <laughs> Shit. There's a video going around and it's really pissing me off. I'm not going to stitch it or drop the name because I do not believe in giving that man a platform. But it's a conversation around DEI in the cockpit. Specifically, this conversation is racially based. These kinds of statements go to show how little people know about anything and they're willing to open their mouths about it. Those pilots didn't just make their way through pilot school because of diversity. They worked their ass off to get their pilot's license and be qualified. If you don't like your pilot because of the way they look or because of their gender, feel free to get off. I am all for female pilots flying. I just want these women to be properly trained, just like every other man who had to go through this. I just want to get on to be proper to be trained enough to get your license compared to a pilot that has been flying for 10, 20 years, maybe 10, 15 years in the military with fighter jets and many other different types of vehicle, uh, you know, aircrafts. 
compared to a diversity hire that just got their driver's or <laughs> driver's license, flight license or pilot's license, and then they get hired. I would trust the 15 year vet that even though he never com flown commercial before, he's flown aircraft for 15 years. That's crazy to hire a brand new licensed person compared to a 15 year vet. That person that just spoke right now, she's a fucking idiot. I would not hire brand new licenses. That doesn't even make sense. On a plane and make it to my destination safely. Please. In the late 1970s, Captain Deborah Laurie was denied a job as a pilot because she was a woman. Now, after 50 plus years of flying, she has a bridge named after her and it sits over a road named after the man that refused to hire her. It's difficult to find work. Really? You gotta give her a bridge and build it on top of the man that refused to give it to her? This seems more like a political act than anything. Words to explain how excited I feel about this. Captain Laurie is now the world's oldest female commercial pilot. She's still flying for Virgin, age 70, but she had to fight to start her career, like fight in the high court. Captain Laurie had been flying ever since she was 16, but when she applied for a spot at ANSET, the airline owner, Sir Reginald ANSET, refused. He'd never hired a female pilot, and he took the matter all the way to the high court. Captain Laurie won. ANSET was ordered to put her on the roster, and she became Australia's first ever female commercial pilot. She says ANSET tried every sort of argument to push that female pilots would be unsafe, saying they were prone to panicking or even that their earrings could get caught on the aircraft in emergency evacuations. Captain Laurie says Ansett was also worried that women would leave to have children. She has now been recognized. That's, those are legitimate concerns. The earring one's a little bit much, but leaving for children is a legitimate concern and the panicking is a legitimate concern. As a trailblazer for women in aviation. The Deborah Laurie flyover bridge will open in November to improve access to Sydney's domestic terminal and it sits right over Reginald Ansett Drive. The irony of flying over the top of Sir Reginald Ansett Drive makes me smile no, more than that. Laugh. With female CEOs now leading Virgin, Qantas, Jetstar and the Civil Aviation Safety Authority, Captain Laurie says the industry is in good hands. There's still a lot of work to do though and I'll continue to advocate for women in aviation. But the truth be told, being a pilot is really not that hard to do. I would like to think it's not that easy to get rights because I would like to get my pilot license one day oh, shout out to you dating plane but if you can get through the years of studying and logging a lot of flight time i'm pretty sure it is possible for anybody to be a pilot i heard a nowadays saying once yeah that it's, it's very hard to crash a co modern commercial aircraft because it's fully automated like it's a full computer simulation you are there just flying it just like a drone operator pretty much but of course you will have to take the plane off and land it so there are a lot of fail safes just in case you get into a crash type incident and that's no disrespect to the true pilots out there who actually put in the study and the time and especially those flight hours to even get certified with a pilot license but that's all i got in this video you guys drop a comment down below let me know what you think about these diversity hires for female pilots that are going on this diversity hire stuff starting to matter now right before it was just companies and it's just ruining companies then who cares about companies getting ruined but now we're affecting people's lives where you're hiring people that are in charge of what hundreds maybe even 500 people's lives at one time that gets dangerous please like subscribe down below i really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time ciao